All right, so I open sourced my AI agent for trading here, and all you have to do is go to the link to get it. You can just hit star and fork, fork if you want the code. Anyways, I wanted to go over this, the trading functionalities within this package. There are a ton of agents, 20 different, 20 plus different live agents, trading agent, strategy agent, risk agent, copy agent, whale agent, sentiment agent, listing arb agent, etc., etc. I'm a quant, so I focus mostly on algo trading, but of course I will be building all types of different agents here. I think this is a, obviously a new frontier. I mean, I don't have to tell you that. We're going to keep building here and then MCPs are here now and MCPs may lead into something interesting with chat GPT, the app store. We'll see if that hits. If not, I think agents are still the way we're going to have AIs doing stuff for us. I think we can all agree on that. So trading, why wouldn't they? Let's go ahead and work on this and go through here. I want to go to the agent section. It's kind of a little rundown of the code. If you're on the readme, go read through the readme. You can understand what we've built. Then go to the source. Everything will be in the source, SRC. You can play with all the models here. You know, you have Claude, DeepSeek, Gemini, Grok, Olama, if you want to run local models, OpenAI, of course, XAI. And this will explain the whole model factory. Everything is written out, so it's super easy to run. Go to the SRC here, and I wanted to go to agents today to talk about those trading agents. So let's go ahead and learn about them from scratch, dude. Let's learn about them. Tradingagents.md is going to be where I'm reading from here. Now, table of contents here, you can see. Anyways, Moondev's trading system uses multi-agent architecture where specialized AI agents work independently or together to analyze markets, generate signals manage risk and execute trades. So agent categories, core trading, market intelligence, token discovery. Okay, so we have multiple agents and you saw where to get those, right? It's in the agents folder, we are, we're in it right now. Trading, strategy and risk, execute trades and manage portfolio, market intelligence, sentiment, whale, funding, liquidation chart, provide market context, and then token discovery like the Sniper, Solana and Copybot. Sniper and Copybot. I wonder what this does. Find new opportunities. Of course, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please take this seriously. Pause this video right now. Read that whole thing or screenshot if you're on your phone. So core trading agents here. These are the main agents that make trading decisions and execute them. So the trading agent, tradingagent.py. The LLM decision maker. So this is pretty basic. This is where... We first got started, just a decision maker based off an LLM. So if we go there, that should be called the trading agent, the trading agent. Okay. Let's go ahead and put her to the side and you can see here, we have a prompt. Your Moondaz AI trading assistant analyze the provided market data and strategy signals to make a trading decision. So I gave it a bunch of information plus the data. And you can see everything. Let's close this for now. You can see the prompts here. They're all here. You can go through this code on your own time. What it does is pure AI analysis of market data using Claude or whatever. No hard coded rules. LLM dis decides everything. Manages portfolio allocation across all tokens. Analyzes technical indicators. And it can incorporate strategy signals from other agents. How it works. Collect market data. So it collects market data and then it has the LLM analyze them. Handles exits first always to manage risk. LLM decides portfolio allocation and then execute entries. So key methods, analyze market data, LLM analysis, allocate portfolio, LLM decides capital distribution. Allocate allocations, executes 
handles exits configuration here i was using a haiku at the moment ai model max position percentage what i want to do here is i want to say hey at trading agent Since we just implemented XAI, their Grok model, the four, I want you to do the same thing with um, this trading agent. Also make sure that the uh, switchability with the models is at the top of the code with parameters, thank you. Okay, so that's the trading agent. It's just like super simple, like, hey, you decide AI. And when I tested it, it didn't do too great. So uh, there needs to be more than that. So that led me to the strategy agent. So strategy agent, the rule-based strategist, loads custom strategies from our strategies custom folder. Each strategy generates buy, sell, or nothing. AI validates all signals before execution, can work independently or feed signals to the trading agent. So I had a conversation with this guy here. His name is Ernest Chan. You can go to the podcast here. It should be live. And he does something. Please, please, please stop using ChatGPT like Google. Disappear for a month and do he this does instead. something. Welcome Called to Corrective AI. Pod Anyways, Corrective AI is, hey, give the AI the strategy and then, or yeah, give the AI the signal from the strategy and it gets to decide if it wants to run it or not. So opposed to like predicting price or something like that. Everybody wants to predict price with AI. That may not be the way. I can't tell you yes or no, but you can test that all yourself. So here I wanted to figure out Let's keep going through here. So it loads in some custom strategies. So that's pretty cool because now we can add custom strategies and then have AI decide from those strategies. See what I'm saying? And you see where this is going? Okay, step one, we just say, hey, AI, just tell me what to do. Here's the data. Let me know long, short or nothing. And uh, that's elementary. So let's go ahead and try a next step. Okay, well, here's a strategy and now it's triggered. Let me know if I should take it or not. It's interesting, interesting ideas. So then we have the risk agent, the safety guardian. What it does, it's a circuit breaker, stops trading when limits hit, monitors max loss or gain over configurable time frame. AI powered override decisions for edge cases. So it's like having a risk control plus AI helping out with it. Minimum balance protection runs first before running anything else. So it's looking at max loss, max gain, and hey, maybe have an AI say, oh, this is actually, this is running fast. Let's not take profit. But then again, that might get you smoked, so. You can read through all of this here, but um, I wanted to see the first couple. Des, the whale watcher, monitors BTC open interest changes, detects whale activity, large OI moves, AI analyzes if the moves are significant, announces. Let's get Dez going. Let's get Dez back up in here. Dude. Get Dez back. Okay, and you got we got XAI here. Perfect. Let's see if it still runs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What is that? Oh, it's collecting data. Bird eye API key. Okay, okay, this is working, which is good. Okay, I'm not gonna let it keep running. It's about to about to buy something, probably. Executing entry. <laughs> Okay, so we just have to tweak that in order to the, the EMVs to fix that. And then let's go ahead and say get add dot get commit slash. Um, I can do this later, actually. 
updates. Mm -hmm. Get push, okay. Let's scroll through here after I get Des going, the whale agent. Let's go ahead and get her going. Where is she? Whale. Do you see it? I don't see it. Whaleagent.py. Agents. Where'd she go? She's right there, dude. Right in your face. Sheesh. This is using Deep Seek here. Copy path. Conda activate. Activate. T flow and then Python run it. Okay, it's running. Beautiful. Let's keep going through here and seeing some other other agents. We have funding agent. Okay. This one's just telling me announces via voice when thresholds hit. This is interesting, actually. I might run this as well. Funding agent. Liquidation agent here. Luna, the liquidation monitor tracks liquidation volume, longs or shorts, detects sudden liquidation spikes, AI analyzes if liquidation signals reversals. So I started building these for voice because if I get them built that way, then it's super easy to be like, okay, we have all the signals here, put in a trade on XYZ exchange. I want to look into that. Matter of fact, please look through this entire GitHub and don't print any sensitive keys or anything, but I want you to explain the exchanges we have connected. So I know right now this connects to at least Solana blockchain because I just saw that in the trading agent. But um, yeah, look through the whole GitHub and yeah, give me an update on that. Chart analysis agent. What it does generates candlestick charts with indicators, uses AI vision to analyze it, analyze chart patterns, supports multiple time frames. So you see what I'm doing here, right? I'm building out the, all the base agents. And then if you want to try trading with this, you just combine the chart analysis agent with the trading agent. Trading agent knows how to trade, right? So same with the liquidation. So you want to try some liquidations. Okay. The liquidation agent has all the data. It's just giving it to me in voice right now. And then it can easily be tested. Chart analysis agent. Okay. Cool. 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 Token discovery agents. These are interesting. These were back in when Solana was really going crazy. Watches for new Solana tokens in real time. Solana agent, the Solana token analyzer analyzes recent token launches using Moondash criteria. MCAP, minimum liquidity. So criteria is market cap, okay. Liquidity, token age, 
Copy by agent analyzes current copybot portfolio positions. Okay. This was cool, actually. Damn, there's so many ideas. There's so many paths. How agents work together. So the main loop integration here. Here's how you can orchestrate all agents together. So you can bring in the risk agent, the strategy agent, the trading agent, the sentiment agent, the whale agents, funding agent, liquidation agent. That's a ton of different ideas that can work together. However, you see fit. Initialize all agents here, track signals from intelligence agents. So always check risk first. So got the risk agent. Okay. Collect market intelligence, strategy signals, trading agent, information flow, quick start guide, configure your system, tokens to trade, position size. I may have just made this for Solana, dude. We'll see. Bird eye, moon dive. Run individual agents, trading agent, strategy. Yeah, I think I probably did because... Yeah, that makes sense because I was going to do this all on chain. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I just asked that question. Per agent overrides, best practices, risk plus trading agent, rule based, hybrid. Always run risk first. Cost optimization. Monitoring, no trades executing. Okay, yada, yada. This is a lot of. A lot of slop you added on to this, dude. A lot of slop. Okay, sick, dude. Remember, trading involves risk. Please read the this right here because that's super duper important. So I feel like that's a pretty good overview of how the trading agents work. You just go to source here. And you have access to all of these agents here right off the bat. I've got a lot I want to update to this and I'm going to continue to do that. And I'll continue to make videos as well, just to show you step by step along the way. So, you know, if you're interested in this GitHub here, then make sure to, you know, subscribe or follow or like or whatever you need to do. So you see the next one. But I think that's about it for here.